Hi everyone, it's Eddie Zaratin, and hopefully I'm getting this right. Uh, and just the connection didn't go through. Um, so I'm going to try this one more time. A lot of you are bored at home and don't know what you're doing. So I'm going to try to show you how to make it a herb garden um, using a container. It does suggest that you do a liner. Um, what I've done with the table is I've actually taken a trash bag and opened it up and I'm using it as my liner just so I don't get the table dirty if I'm doing it at home. Um, actually, this is um, part of my um, home and uh, I've got these plants that I bought, bought and one is basil, the other one is sage, and the other one is... Uh, it does not have any source to drain the, the plants. You need that. I'm taking some charcoal. This is ready to use charcoal that you can find at the nursery. And I'm lining it probably about one fourth of the container below, as you can see. And what this does is the charcoal actually uh, uh, drains, keeps the uh, the soil, like the roots, uh, in place. So I'm going to take my first plant, which is my basil, and I'm doing it in groupings of twos, and I'll have six plants in this one. So depending on the size of the container, and as you can see, I love that we're using different colors of green and herbs. This makes it more interesting, usually. There we go. And now I'm gonna take the thyme, and I love thyme because of the smell. And also, I'm gonna tap this in a little this way. I wanna make sure that the, the roots are, are not overwhelming each other and killing each other. Take this one too. And then now the rest of an all-purpose potting soil, as you can see, um, some of them are left with holes. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill that in. I, you know, people, I suggest people using gloves. I can't, I have to touch the soil. I have to feel the soil. Uh, the earth is what keeps these plants growing. And I'm just going to fill the, the voided space with the soil. And I'm going to pat it down a little bit just to make sure that there's no holes. And what you can do is, is I'm going to use a water bottle, but I see some holes right here. I'll take a water bottle and I'll kind of uh, water it down a little bit, just so that the soil could kind of even out. Some more soil. Sorry, I should have left the bucket here. So that I have this one more spot right here that I'm going to fill up. And look how easy this was to do, right? Like it took you literally a couple of minutes to do. And then I'm going to show you a cute way of kind of identifying the plants as well and clean this up. Look how cute that is, right? And clean this up my head. 
there's a piece where we get it. Right? There's Hazel, for tuning in. I hope you found this inspirational. Uh, if there are any comments that you want to make, and you want me to do some more of these fun, uh, easy plants indoors now that we're all at home, let me know under your comment section. Make sure you're following me on all social media. And everybody be safe and be well. Peace out.